Yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Los Angeles Charts Franchise. We're in week 11. Last week, we had a frustrating week against one of the worst teams in the league, the Denver Broncos. Horrible. I made our gameplay sliders because that game was very unacceptable for me. Very, very unacceptable. These are them. Um, I don't know if they're... I don't know. I feel like they're even enough. I don't know. I want to tone down their run block, honestly. I'm bringing that to like 43. We go up their wide receiver catch to like 60. They do catch already, but it doesn't matter. QB accuracy is at 30, and you see it was at 20, maybe like 20 something. And they still was hitting throws. My QB accuracy is at 53. Um, and we still miss a lot of throws. I'll tone that down to like 45. 47, I'll do. Uh, I don't know what else. The interception is at 30 yards, is at 40. I don't, I don't know. I think it's good enough. I think it's good enough. You can always let me know if you think it's too easy, too hard. Um, we're facing Lamar Jackson. How do we want to, uh, you really want to slow him down. Yeah, we just can't blitz. Hold him to 250 pass yards. We could do that because he doesn't throw the ball a lot. They run the ball a lot. And the DN, who is it? Yannick Ngakwe? Yannick Ngakwe is on the Vikings. <laughs> I don't know why we said that. Clay's Campbell. Away from Clay's Campbell. Gain 500 team yards and give up zero sacks. Y'all crazy. I got some upgrades to get to, and I'm probably gonna get right to this game. Joe Reed, probably gonna go just deep threat, because that does give you the most. And we get two to catching, one in deep route. For some reason, I forgot he was a super, I'm a superstar development. I was like, what is that? Yeah, I think he's good. He just needs a better deep route, but other than that, I think he's really a good player. Like, if you look at these stats, just looking at these right here, his release is bad, but it's just not. He looks like he should be, like, at least an 80 overall or 82. You know, just the awareness rating, which I don't know where that rating is on here, but you know, it's just that. Um, Route technique, I think we should just leave that as it is. Let's hear Adderley. Probably go zone, right? Yeah, zone is a 76. I think we can go man. Or just go hybrid. Hopefully that gives them both. And nope. Three to awareness and two to play rec. Ah, that's so annoying. Mike Edgar. Are you the rookie? You are. Uh, just go to your scheme fit. Okay, just plus ones all over the board. And you're right, you're not horrible. Don't really care about Zero Shell, Orocho, however you want to say your name. Uh, he has pick artists, but I don't know if we really need that, honestly. I think mid zone KO will be good for you. And we are going to upgrade your what? What do you need? I think we go zone with you. Should we just replace him at middle linebacker? I feel like that's where you'll be the most useful. Yeah, we're going to up your zone and replace you at middle linebacker. Replace you or move you to middle linebacker. Two to man, one to zone. Yeah, we're going to move you to middle linebacker. See what that does for you. Nope, just brings him down to a 79 though. You might be better suited at right outside. Yeah, like his stats look okay. But I think you're better suited for at right outside linebacker. I feel like the Chen and the Wolves would be better suited for like on the line. 
What would you be at right end? I think you got the stats for it. Yeah, you definitely do. Like, you don't belong in coverage at all. I might just leave you there. For the remainder of the season. Well, remainder of this playthrough. Honestly. Especially if it's good. And... He's at 82 over there. So he's supposed to be at right end. I messed up on that. Put left end. So yeah, we're going to get into this game against the Baltimore Ravens. They're also 4-5. and five, So this is the AFC... Big time matchup. Uh, we know who they have. Maybe they have some new X Factors. Well, not X Factors, superstars. They have Alvin Kamara. Holy shit. Oh, man. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game because last time in the conference championship, uh, it was a tough game and they had uh, Melvin. Is it Melvin? Who's this guy? I think it was... No, it's not Melvin Gordon. I can't even think of this dude's name. Yeah, I can't think of his name right now. I don't know why. I'm blanking on it. So we are in the hunt for the playoffs. Um, with a win here, possibly, we could be in a wild card. Like, so far. It's going to be a tough game, man. It's going to be a really tough game. Especially on the offense. Well, for them. Well, it's going to be a tough game for our defense in general. So, I don't know why. Where did it like that? Give him a big hit. He's going to hold on to some of these. Hopefully, we can force the ball out. Good tackle. That's what it was. Um, Melvin Ingram. I don't know why it felt like it wasn't. Okay, they're gonna pass here for sure, right? Nowhere to go. They go short. That's what happens when you can't run away. <laughs> like you just don't have nowhere to go with the ball. Try to run the ball here. Don't want to run to Clay's Campbell side. Got to remember that. There we go. Nice little seven, eight yard gain. Got to run. Make them make the decisions. Just like that. He just wasn't fast enough to get to that outside. But we are having some good runs with Justin Jackson today. Good tackle. Well, good catch. Toma, good tackle. Why am I praising them for their tackling? What a catch. Dorian Dale. Ooh, that's his first grab on the day. Puts him over 750 on the year. Most likely going to get over 1,000. It looks like they're going to be blitzing, but I'm still going to run it. Yeah, Calais Campbell just crushing that center, whoever's right there, man. What a catch by Hunter Henry. I didn't think it was going to be a blitz, but I had a bunch of routes that were going to leave a lot of things open. So I just trusted that. It's going to make it 7-0. to zero. Um, This is not like the conference championship. I don't know what they lost on their team, but this is not like the conference championship. Yeah, what are we supposed to do about that? I guess I'm supposed to follow him, but... I don't know. It's a gain of 23 yards. And the Ravens first down. <laughs> like ridiculous type of running he's doing. 
Can I switch? Big hit, and he doesn't fumble. Ooh, that hit felt good. Nah, that hit really did feel good, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Holy shit, did that hit feel wonderful. My quick, like the way he just evades tacklers, I felt him like just brush off somebody. And I just don't, I don't understand that. That's why I just don't really get. That's where the mind goes kind of blank for me. And this is the offense they had the um, conference championship, man. This run heavy offense that they're going to hit you in these. Intermediate spots, but you have to be ready for it. It's like you got to be prepared to stop the run, but also prepared to stop that passing game if they do choose to go that route. Look at Calais Campbell. He's in the zone. There we go. Good shit. Hopefully, Clay's Campbell was out the zone. He already hit this dude five times already. Come on. I think that was Marquise Goodwin. Was it? Definitely was. Marquise on the one. Why are you going to try to punch this in right here? We're going to try two fullback plays. See if it works, and it does. Getting in for the touchdown. Gabe Nader, I think that's his name. That might be his like second or third touchdown on the year. Oh man, this run gonna be hard to stop. What formation do we come out in, man? 4-6? I was just in 4-6 too, and it didn't do shit. There we go. Who was that? Drew Tranquil with the sack. Good stop. Yeah, we're going to need two men to tackle him. He's going to be a hard man to bring down. One-on-one, -on -one, definitely. We're going to look for some cover three action here. I love cover three. Usually it does give me the best coverage. They go short. Don't know how smart that was. I'm going to put a couple on that catch. We're 10 of 1,344 yards and a touchdown today. Not horrible. Wide open. Outrunning a couple, going out of bounds. Yeah, they just didn't want to cover that uh, wheel route with the tight end. Tight end with the running back. So once again, we're going to make them make a decision. Uh, 
Um, we're gonna streak. Obviously, you see, we're gonna streak Hunter Henry and Joe Reed, and that safety is gonna have to make a decision. Who's more important? Yeah, I I did the wrong thing. I did the total the wrong thing. Not even close to what I really wanted to do. It's actually going to stay in. Big hit. Inside the 20. Just wish they fumbled a little bit more on these big hits. Especially that one. Going to try to send some pressure here. Pick it up. Let's go. Joey Bosa with the fumble recovery. But who calls the fumble? Ah, Kaiser White. Interesting. This is the first time he's getting real playing time. Um, because we moved. What's his name? We moved. Damn, what is this dude's name? Oh, Chen Nawosu. We moved Chen Nawosu down to right. We moved move him down to the edge. And wow, he actually made that play. It was a good play to call the blitz, guys. It was like, yeah, they're for sure going to run here. And they didn't at all, and we got through cleanly and just <laughs> caused a fumble. Good shit, fellas. Good shit. Let's just kind of have the same play here. Drew Tranquil. Let's go. I'm telling you, they all try to run that route on me, that little zig route. I don't even know what's called a zig. Horrible. That was the best thing we could have got out of that. Without throwing it away. Well, we probably should throw it away, right? This is a 53 yarder. Obviously, no wind in this uh, stadium. We're going to kick it. Kick is up. Kick is good. Uh, Michael Bagley clearly has the leg for that. It's going to put us up 24 to 7. So, and we get ball, so we could score it on even more. We need this win in these back to back losses we took. Back to back tough losses, I will add. You know, last week didn't seem like a competitive game, according to the end of. The end of game score, but definitely was. Come on. Let's go. What a fucking throw. That's such a good throw. Yup, he grabs him. What a catch. We're missing a couple throws today, but other than that, we're playing really well. Let it go. Let it go. Come on. Fuck. We need a couple yards to get in field goal range. We just recently hit a 50. We're going to have to get rid of this really quickly. The under pressure throws, man. Can we hit this field goal, though? Nah. All right. We kind of blew it on that one. What a fucking punt. Good tackle. 
Only getting a yard on that one. Oh, they ran a sc The screen was so sloppy, and they should never gain that much on that. That's so disappointing for us. Why doesn't he fumble, man? When he's in the zone, now he's never going to fumble. I don't even know. Probably sack him or some shit. Third down, third and four. Good shit. Really good shit. This wouldn't be a dumb space for them to go for it, honestly. They're going for a field goal. We're going to be smart about this. He probably could nail a 50 ball, can he? Yeah, he could. Holy shit. They got that 1024. Um, we know what we have to do on this drive. We have to get points. Any type of points. We need them. Cause I do know we're able of able to score, able of scoring. <laughs> I know we're able to score, but the point is scoring. Going to definitely try to run on this one. Where's Calais Campbell? Was he even on the field? It's on the right side of the field. We fall forward for that first. Nine and twenty-four, not a very good. Debut of the run. Debut of the run? I don't even know what I'm trying to say at this point. Nothing got open. Like, nothing got open at all. Middle was wide open. Amazing. Amazing defense. They blitzed. Good. That's a sack. Chen Nwosu. Is he out the zone? Does that he take it away? Yes, sir. He escapes the pocket so quick and he throws even quicker. I'm blitzing. There we go. Oh my god. Good play call by me. Good catch, Hunter. 17 of 30 on the days. Once again, it's not an ideal uh, throwing stat line, but, you know, it is what it is today. We're going to let this go to the fourth quarter. I'm going to run to Clay's Campbell side. I'm believing in the blocks. Those are, good. Those are some good blocks. Those are actually some good blocks. 10 for 30. Not a bad... Ah, it's not ideal. That's what it, I keep saying that it's not ideal, but that's really what it is. It's, it's not an ideal uh, stat line. Good catch by Dorian Dale. It was a really good play setup, and I think they blitzed me. I could be wrong on that. No, he didn't. He just ran, man. Good catch. I was going to hit Dorian, but 
They kind of played him good on that one. What a catch. Wish he just would have fell backwards, though. You got to run to this little right side. I'm not getting tackled by Calais. Oh, what a... Okay. Justin Jackson just breaking tackles this week. I like it. And it's going to put it 31 to 10. Very good performance. Even when we were up big, I felt like they could have just made a couple plays and came back. I still feel like that a little bit, but not so much, not so much. Coming away with the sack, Jerry Tillery. I almost want to say Joe Tillery. They're going deep. How are we going to play this? Went out of bounds. Didn't look like he dropped it. I wanted them to play it, see how they react to it. Let's go. You force Lamar Jackson to be a passer, he does not know what to do. Mr. Adley, that's like his fifth and well, fourth interception on, on the year. You see at the bottom of the screen. I feel like it was his fifth. He played really well in coverage for us this year. Of course, as soon as I cut in, he just makes a tackle. I'm gonna want to put True Clock on here. It's a little early for it, but. If we're able to get out of here, or we'll just keep running the ball and possibly gaining first downs like this one. We could bring this down to at least the two-minute warning. If we do, probably gain another first down, maybe two more. I'm actually going to pass right here. I don't know who to give it to. Ah, uh, we just couldn't get on the ball. You're not serious. They are serious. Calais Campbell with the fumble recovery. Good truck. That puts us over 300 yards on the day. It's good, man. It's the way we like it. Did we get the first? I think we did. Inches. Wow. Um... Definitely going for it. I think a play action will be so good of a call right here. Such an easy throw. And that's going to be game over. It's going to run this ball out a little bit more. Well, we probably need another first down for actually to be game over. Your final, 34 to 17. Um, really, really good week, actually. What? <laughs> um, yeah, re really good week. It's a good bounce back, especially against a dominant offense, the way they can play. I don't know who deserves to be on a thumbnail. 
I want to say someone 65 passing yards. That's just horrendous. That's just horrendous. I don't even want to look at that. Yuck. Justin Herbert, 324 passing yards, one touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 82 passing yards and two intros. Justin Jackson had an okay game. Eight rushes, 50 yards, 2.7 on the ground. Not good. Um, Cream Hunt, four, 40 yards. Lamar Jackson, 56, one touchdown. And uh, Gabe Neighbors. Yeah, he was in there. Hunter Henry actually had a pretty good week with uh, 111, 112 <laughs> yards, one touchdown. Uh, Marquise Gooden was a big part of his offense, too. Four catches for 83 yards. Darren Dale, three catches for 50. And Joe Reed, four catches for 37. I really don't know who deserves to be on this thumbnail. Okay, it took me a long time to find that thumbnail. Like 10 minutes. Good shit, offensive line. There should be another one up there, but it's not. That's fine. Uh, we move to 5-5, five and five, advancing to week 12 where we face the Broncos. Once again, we have a breakout player. Who could this be? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Mate, hopefully, it's Dorian Dale. Um, hopefully, it's Dorian Dale. We're going to get into that next week. Uh, are we able to check the playoff race yet? Because we are 5-5. Five and five. We probably are yeah. going to get in a wild card game if we just if we just don't take any more unnecessary losses. Uh, we are currently 14th. So we're going to have to beat out a couple teams. Bills and Colts specifically. And if you can't wait the next episode, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Honestly, don't forget to do it. Like, it was a very impressive, uh, it was an alright game. Um, nothing spectacular happened. Um, who knows who it would be? Maybe it might be um, Justin Herbert. Um, could be someone on the defense, but I really doubt that. I mean, defense did have a good showing this week, but I don't know. Once again, if you did enjoy, leave a like on this video. Join my Discord. Always in the description. Uh, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, wherever. Uh, comment down below what you think of the series. And what you think of some other series I should do? I'm currently with two ongoing series. I technically have three, but I don't know. I'm going to continue that Snowhawk series. I'm actually restarted. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I might just stick with these two series I have. But let me know if you want to see something else on the channel. And I'll try to get that to you but yeah gotta get out of here so peace Stick with this cash don't need a wallet don't need a wallet i'm like why the fuck he shot the fuck he shot if i keep smoking this gas